an organization called Stevens Backpacks has launched a second book called On Eagle's Wings, hoping to inspire people to dream out loud. I really think we're all kids, and I think that everybody needs to look inside their heart, and maybe they've missed the dream, and it's never too late. And so whatever age you are, you can dream out loud, and you can look in your corner of the world, and you can make a difference. Nancy's autistic son, Stephen, inspired the creation of Stephen's backpacks at five years old after expressing his interest in helping the homeless. Since then, they have filled over thousands of backpacks and have helped several of Calgary's homeless find housing. Well, just picture yourself in Dale, in Dale's place. Uh, on the street, no home, no food, constantly going to shelter doors. Trust me, that life would not be fun. The newest thing we're working on is my second book, On Eagle's Wings, and I, I wrote that for a really important reason. I wanted to do something that I really felt would motivate kids to look inside their own heart, to dream out loud. The book is about animals in the forest living without a home. Help is found through the community after a young boy initiates change. And so the whole story is based on Stephen's real story, but it's all fictional. Royal Oak Elementary students in grade one to four have had the chance to show off their creativity through clay illustrations that were used in the book. We do Stephen's Backpack as a school every Christmas, so we're familiar with the program. So we sort of decided to take it on as something extra to work on. It was wonderful for me because how I perceive the story is as the writer of the story, but I want to see how kids see it through their eyes. So the illustrations are through their eyes, and it's exactly the message I wanted to give. The students uh, really felt a connection with Stephen from Stephen's Backpack, so um, to be able to sort of bring his dream to life, the book sort of talked a little bit about Stephen's dreams, and they were able to illustrate those, and I think they felt a real connection there and being able to express their dreams as well. The project came with hard work and a little sacrifice. They took it on, they worked for about six weeks. We had to stay in at recess and they gave up their recesses to work on it. So yeah, they were very into the project. It was very cool. It was really able to demonstrate their abilities to work independently and they were very excited about it. So it's definitely something we would take on again if we had the chance. Nancy says that Stephen continues to inspire her and his dream is the same as it was eight years ago. It's every child should have a home with grass to run on. Every child should have a bed to sleep in, their own bed, and they should have lots of toys. So that's our goal. That's Stephen's goal and we're right behind him. Proceeds raised will go directly back into the community that Stephen's Backpacks continues to serve. It means one more person off the street, one whole family off the street, one, one gone, still a whole lot more to go. For more information or to get involved, log on to stevensbackpacks.com. For Go Calgary, I'm Lindy Free.